The 76th Cannes Film Festival is in the books now. The annual celebration of movies and glitz and glamours just wrapped up in France. And Variety Chief Correspondent Elizabeth Wagmeister was there. Yes, welcome and I'm back. I'm glad she's back because I was so envious of her Instagram feed. <laughs> so welcome back to La La Land. Thank you. Uh, but now I guess take us back. How was Johnny Depp? <laughs> you know, so the festival was the best it's been in years. You know, we had gone through the COVID yeah. years and now we were back. The glitz and glam was fully back on the red carpet. And this was Johnny Depp's big return to the red carpet. Of course, after his long, messy case with his ex-wife, Amber Heard, I will tell you what's really interesting is when you see the difference overseas with a lot of stars. Oh. Cancel culture does not really exist in France. Johnny Depp is one of the biggest stars in the world, but in France, they adore him. I actually interviewed a lot of fans who were at the red carpet and they said we didn't pay attention to the case. We don't care to hear about it. <laughs> so what's interesting though is can we go live there. <laughs> <laughs> and we can just eat all the baguettes yes. and drink the wine together. But and have the fashion. Yes, but what's interesting is his film, which was opening night, this was a huge moment for Johnny Depp, but it hasn't sold yet with the US right. Oh. So he had a comeback there, but it still remains to be seen what happens with his career here. And in true Johnny Depp form, nothing went off completely without a hitch. The next day for the press conference, he was late, about 30 <laughs> minutes late. We had reporting that he was stuck in traffic. And when he was asked about his career in Hollywood and if he feels ousted by Hollywood, he said, I don't pay attention, I don't care. Oh. And he's been vindicated by the court yeah. case at least. Exactly. So there is that. Yes. Was there some, uh, did you get some, did you get to talk to him? Was there something we were, were going to play? Well, in the press conference, we did at Variety. We asked him a question, and I believe we do have footage of that. Yeah, so let's, let, go let's ahead take, take a look. Of course, you know, I mean, when you're asked to resign from a film you're doing because of something that is merely a bunch of kind of vowels and consonants floating in the air. <laughs> Um, yeah, you feel a bit boycotted. Do I feel boycotted now? No, not at all. Well, <laughs> pretty there much sums go. it up. There you go. I'm glad, that we, had, I'm glad so. that we had that footage because he can really only do it how yes, Johnny Depp yes, can. And this yeah. is exactly what I was trying to evoke Convent, yeah. is when, when you see him there, he really doesn't care. And as you said, he has been vindicated by the court of law. Now, the court of public opinion is a different story, but he is truly one of the biggest stars in the world. And when you see him walk on that carpet, yeah. that star power is, is really something. there. And yeah. he has millions upon millions of fans around the world, many of which would like to see him make a comeback, others that don't think he deserves that comeback. Mm. And that is his element, yes. right? Yeah. Um, you also spoke with actress and Oscar winner Michelle Yeoh. Mm -hmm. Tell yes. us about that. So at Variety, every year we have a studio. We partner with Caring for their Women in Motion talks, and it is such a pleasure and such a treat that I get to sit with amazing women and interview oh them gosh, about their yeah. career. So I interviewed Michelle Yeoh. She was one of many. And the reason why she was at the festival is because she won the Women in Motion Award, which is a big award that's given every year to a woman in Hollywood. We had a wide-ranging conversation. It was about 45 minutes. She is just as badass in real life. This was the first time that I met her, actually. And we spoke about everything everywhere all at once. We spoke about the Oscar win. Bad news for fans of that film. She confirmed there's no sequel uh, that's coming. Okay. But what was really amazing is we spoke a lot about inclusion and representation. And she was at the Cannes Film Festival 20 years ago. Wow. And she spoke about what she has seen change and since then. And the differences, then. yes. Yeah. Uh, it was a very starry year for films at Cannes. Yes, it was. So we talked about Johnny Depp. Also, Leo DiCaprio, who doesn't make many public appearances no, for being such a big star. He's quite private. We always see him in that baseball hat. He was everywhere. I feel like I saw Leo every <laughs> single day. I saw day. him on a yacht with, he, of uh, course, with yeah. Tom Brady yeah. or something, right? <laughs> he was everywhere. So the reason why he was there is his film Killers of the Flower Moon, in which he co-stars with Robert De Niro. It is produced or directed rather uh, by Martin Scorsese. That premiered there. I'm telling you, it's going to be a long road to the Oscars. We're already talking about it. That is going to get a lot of Oscar nominations. Also there we see Harrison Ford because Indiana Jones, his final installment, also debuted at the Cannes Film Festival. So this was a big year for big A-list stars. But I want to tell you about a breakout star. So Leo's co-star in Killers of the Flower Moon, her name is Lily Gladstone. She's another woman that I sat down with in our studio. 
she is a lock for a nomination. There she is for Killers of the Flower Moon. She's really incredible and she's just so lovely oh. to talk about. She spoke about indigenous representation in the film and she got a huge standing ovation. That's the other thing with Cannes. You know, it's the festival of standing ovations. Yeah. And we time them in Hawaii. Yeah. That's what we're known for. Yeah. So it's like nine minutes, I think, for Killers of the Flower Moon. That was one of the longest ones. People, they really they and I stand think the up, record they is 22 minutes yes. or something exactly. like that. Yes. Just crazy. I yes. can't even <laughs> wrap my head around yes. that. Uh, what was your favorite film? I have to say, there was one film that I saw called May December. Okay. And it stars Julianne Moore and Natalie Portman and oh, also I already Char love it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Charles <laughs> Melton, who some people may know from Riverdale. Charles Melton plays Julianne Moore's much younger husband. Mm -hmm. And Natalie Portman plays a woman who is an actress portraying Julianne Moore in a movie. I will leave it okay. at that, but okay. it's very twisted, it's very eerie, it's a sexy thriller. Ooh, I'm loving it. I loved yeah. it, and Netflix okay. acquired it, uh, because obviously at the Cannes Film Festival there's a lot of deals and acquisitions, and that was one of the biggest deals that was made, so we'll all be able Ooh. to stream it sometime And if it's coming soon. from you, you know, yes. it's gotta be good. I Elizabeth, it. thank I you. It. Work spouse date day. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I love it. And you can find out more information about Elizabeth and Variety by going to kcalnews.com and clicking scene on TV.